time of car reader that half faulty. The car reader that was brought to this place was not um, the car reader of uh, this polling unit, but was being rectified by the registrate by the uh, in the registrate uh, polling unit. After voting in their different polling units, Governor Darius Ishaku and former acting governor Sunny Danladi commended INEC for rank of free polls. But Governor Ishaku frowned at the arrest of some PDP chieftains on Friday. The process uh, of casting the vote at this polling unit is quite okay, simple, straightforward, and uh, it is very organized here. Okay. But, uh, however, uh, in other areas of the state, the security, particularly the SSS, has arrested some of uh, top notchers of uh, PDP, uh, stalwart, and locked them up. And uh, several others, just to disorganize the PDP. I'm, I'm so, so sad about it. I'm overwhelmed with what I saw on ground. You can see from my polling unit, you can see the turnout. And the process of these elections, I'm convinced that uh, the INEC has done so much well, so far so good. Uh, the turnout is poor, at least uh, not as good as the last uh, election, that is the presidential and national assembly election. This is uh, probably because of uh, the little uh, problem uh, the APC and uh, PDP people had yesterday. Uh, I think two people they said were killed and uh, that scared people. So many people were, uh, were afraid to come out today. Uh, it took me not less than one, two minutes to cast my vote. So uh, there are a lot of improvements. Uh, I really commend INEC uh, for this laudable, laudable uh, uh, outing they have. Twelve commissioners of police were deployed to the state to oversee the exercise and ensure that the expectations of residents of Taraba were not dashed. And we'll have more monitoring the collision of results nationwide when we return from this short break. Please stay with us. Okay, okay. Hello, Chidiberi. You're on Skype now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll link up with you once we get back from the break. Okay, okay. okay. So they are on now. They are on now. Centralize your shot. Just a bit. Just a bit more. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's fine. Is the headroom okay? The headroom is okay, Abby. You should reduce it. Uh, tilt down the ca the fo the uh, yeah phone. Too much headroom, Chidebere. So, too much headroom. Too much headroom. Just a bit down. It's good now. Okay. All right. Stand by. You're watching CDC News. Let's head back to Abia State now, where correspondent Chidiberi Ezani is standing by uh, for us now. Hi, Chidiberi. So, what's the latest from your end now? 
Well, a coalition is just about to start. Uh, the resident electoral commissioner just walked into the building. All right, and how we just have is... only four uh, four local governments that have so far submitted their results from the polls from yesterday. Uh, we saw a bit of violence from some places, especially in the Abia Umwahia North uh, local government, where elections were uh, were held successfully, but the coalition was halted. Uh, but at this stands, uh, I feel the uh, resident electoral commissioner is just about to start with a poll that is on ground. So are you telling us now that uh, the results from all the local governments are ready now? Confirm confirmed? Sorry, can you come again? Do we have it confirmed now that results from all local governments are ready? Chidebere, do we have word now for real that uh, local governments have come on now to the collation center in the state capital uh, there and all results are ready? Well, uh, as it stands, four local governments are here, but uh, the, the resident electoral commissioner just walked in. So we're waiting to see what he does. Uh, as it stands, uh, we're not very specific on what details they are about to give, but we would like to walk into the hall now to hear the information they are passing on to us. All right, uh, Chudebere, uh, well, we'll let you go now uh, to get uh, more for us uh, from uh, your red there in uh, Abia State now talking about the collision of results. Sidibiri Ezani there just told us uh, that uh, from four local governments have come on now to the center with results. More uh, will, of course, be brought in in the course of the day. Well, let's tell you about how Nigerians are praising INEX performance in conducting yesterday's governorship and state assembly election. In this report, Jacqueline Ogo brings us the people's verdict. Ogo, Oyo, Ondo, Cross River, and many more states. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, got impressive commendations for the prompt arrival of staff and materials, as well as its timely commencement of the collation of results. It's okay, excellent. They carried out, they carried out function very well and the ad hoc staff performed incredibly well. I was here around seven and INEC started um, on the dot of eight. Excellent. Material arrived. At us, one deal, people are here, see them on queue, at least everywhere is peaceful. A very encouraging uh, atmosphere so far, and I want to also use this opportunity uh, to lay credence to the fact that uh, INEC has been able to uh, live up to the expectation so far. I think everybody had the opportunity to exercise their civic duty, just like I did mine, and I I think, um, from what I can see, the officials are doing a good job at what they're doing. In the Imo and Kaduna states, as well as Kasina states, the home of President Muhammadu Buhari, the election was also adjudged by the majority as peaceful and orderly. There has been a significant improvement over the election of the last uh, two weeks. Uh, voting has started on time, the ad hoc staff were on time, and the security arrangements are uh, much better. It's an improvement in the process. And uh, election materials were here on good time. Uh, people started voting early. So far, so good. I came in within a short time. I was accredited without any problem, and I voted. We appreciate uh, INEC for timely uh, delivery of uh, sensitive and non-sensitive materials and uh, this early takeoff is an indication that will also complete uh, this process on time. The polls did not hold in seven states. That's because those states had their governorship elections held at different times. In all, observers say one major area Nigeria needs to get back to the drawing board to ensure lapses in that particular area does not mar the outcome of elections is the big area of security. But many Nigerians say the current platform of the conduct of elections is a good one to improve upon. Jacqueline Ogo, TV's News. Hey. 
And Lagos wasn't left out in Saturday's election. Let's take a look now at what the voting process was like here. The governorship and state house of assembly election in Lagos was generally peaceful. Lagos Island and some parts of Etiosa local government area witnessed considerable voter turnout and a hitch-free exercise. At other polling units in the area, the exercise also went smoothly. Electoral officers got to their polling stations minutes after the official time, and voters came out to perform their civic duty. Former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, cast his ballot in Ikeja. He commended INEC and security officials for improved process. The INEC has started very well. They got materials to various local governments uh, early enough. And uh, they logistically, they have well prepared. Why their staff arrived late in some areas is what I cannot explain because I'm, a, I'm restricted to telephone and uh, my location. I can only uh, take it from various levels. In terms of security, Nigeria, Lagos has always been ready to celebrate democracy. Senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District, Senator Uluremi Tunubu, cast her ballot at Ward 9, polling Unit 34, and she commended the peaceful process. The point is seeing is believing. This is a, an administration that is working. I've never seen anything in the electoral process like this. I say kudos to Mr. President, and thank God that Nigerians voted right. We see a system that has begun to work and it will continue to work for the upcoming generation. Governorship candidates Babajide Sonwulu and Jimmy Agbaje also commended the process after casting their ballots. We have conducted ourselves in a very peaceful and orderly manner even with all of the population that is there and I imagine that should be um, the examples that we should set for other polling units that let's self-regulate ourselves, right? It's not, we are not people that need to be militarized before we work, right? We are very law-abiding people. And you've, you've seen it here, you've been reflected here. Peaceful, very orderly. It's still early times. Uh, we believe, we hope that uh, as the day goes by, that we'll have more people coming out to vote. And it's important that we tell Lagos that it's important that they come out and exercise their rights. Despite the delay in the commencement of voting in Iba local council development area and Ojo local government, residents came out in their numbers to exercise their franchise. Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Idiot Adebule, cast her ballot alongside her husband after being accredited. It is not easy for an organization, no matter how perfect you are, to, you are, you are, to have a process where uh, in the course of Doing all of this, you now have one hiccup or the other. But the most important is that we must learn from our mistakes and ensure that as we proceed, we continue to do to perfect the process and, and so that all of those issues, the mistakes will be, re will be reducing and at the end of the day, we'll have a perfect um, process in place. Party agents and voters also expressed happiness with the voting process. And back here in Lagos, collision of results is underway in the aftermath of yesterday's election. Let's head straight now uh, to the Yaba uh, headquarters of the INEC office in Lagos. Violation of uh, these results and all through this particular process. So you are very, very free, you know, to ask any question, to make comments, and then uh, we will try as much as possible to ensure that we give adequate time, you know, because this is very crucial and it's very important. And we want each and every one of us to be satisfied at the end of the entire exercise. So uh, I don't know if we are going to follow the order of uh, arrival. So. Lagos Island. Let the collection officer and the electoral officer for Lagos Island please move forward. Lagos Island.
Thank you very much. The coalition officer, you will introduce yourself and then you will give the electoral officer also the opportunity to introduce ourselves before you now mm -hmm. present the results. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. My name is Dr. Adipoch, the Kumari of the University of Lagos. I'm the coalition officer for the gubernatorial election in Lagos Island local government. My name is Chino. Can you hear me? Sorry, can you can you please repeat the introductions, please, so that they okay. can hear you. Thank you, sir. My name is Dr. Adepoju Tejumaye of the University of Lagos. Thank you, sir. My name is Chiwa Onyo Okoro, Electoral Officer, Lagos Island. Thank you. Uh, I hereby present the results for the gubernatorial election for Lagos Island local government. Number of uh, 17 words and 19 words in Lagos Island local government. An election took place in all the words. There is no cancellation. Number of registered voters 196401. 196401. Number of accredited voters, 40337. 40337. Party A, 06. 6. Six. Thank you. Party, Party AAC, 18. Sorry, sorry, I, I'm sorry, I will have to take it, but we like to know the number of. Uh